Good morning. It is Tuesday the 9th of April. Welcome back to April Vlogs. I thought I'd actually start the vlog this morning <laughs> because the last few days I feel like I haven't really filmed anything until quite a bit later in the day. Yesterday I didn't pick up the camera till about midday when we were leaving for London and um, the weekend was just completely erratic. So it's 8.30 in the morning. I've just had my first cup of tea. I'm going to go, well, no, I had my first cup of tea about an hour and a bit ago. I'm going to go and make another one and get some breakfast. I've just been sitting here doing some editing. I've had a few orders in my Etsy shop, so thank you if it's anyone that's been watching the April vlogs. I'm going to pass all those up today and I'm going to walk to the post office with them. So I shall uh, I shall film that later. I'm still waiting for some new stock from my Etsy shop that's connected to the dodgy bag make along that I run on my other channel, the, my little drops of wonderful knitting and crochet channel. Really hoping they're gonna arrive soon so I can show you. I'm gonna make a to-do list today. I feel like I've, last week, everything was kind of up in the air a bit and I didn't use my weekly planner that I normally use. And I'm gonna get the weekly planner out and, and make a proper plan for my, my week, so. I think I'll feel a bit more organised then. I spoke about, I bought myself a new um, sort of tear off weekly planner sheet that I spoke about in a video I made at the beginning of the year. I think it was called Things That Did and Didn't Work in 2023 and Plans for the Coming Year. Good morning, Dan. Mm -hmm. Would you like to say good morning to the vlog? I'm actually picking up the camera in the morning. Well done. Morning vlog. <laughs> Dan's, Dan's on the washing. He's been on it this morning. He's been putting washing in the machine and putting things up to hang up and stuff. Although it's raining, so I can't hang anything in the garden. Tea is my next goal. Is lovely oh my goodness it's just really flavorful and warming and sweet and refreshing all at the same time I've just been looking at some comments and I, I don't have it memorized who said this but I showed you my little gift spoon that says drink tea read books be happy that was part of my uh, advent uh, one of my advent uh, one of my birthday advent gifts from Dominique and someone commented and said, you could put it in a flower pot as a kind of decorative thing in a flower pot. And I'm like, I am tempted. So I'm going to, I'm going to stick it in the flower pot I've got on my kitchen window sill and see what I think. I could do with a bit of water actually. I quite like that. Do you think it'll be all right? I'm going to look it up. It's stainless steel. I don't want it to rust or anything. Oh. That's a good idea. I'll leave it there for now, unless anyone says I'm doing something terrible. Uh, this isn't staying here. This is um, a sort of decorative chopping board. I don't think I could ever bring myself to use it. It was a gift a couple of years ago from Dan's mum. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm, it fits perfectly here. So I think I'm going to put a nail up and hang it up as like a bit of kitchen artwork. Um, just got to get around to doing it. Maybe I'll try and do that today. We're about to do a job that is a long overdue job. We're going to put up some shelves for books in our bedroom. So this is just some wood that we bought from uh, b and And we've measured out four lengths of just over a metre each. 102 centimetres. And Dan's going to go and cut them with power tools 
please please make sure all of your digits are intact I absolutely hate doing stuff like this I hate it I hate the mess I hate the planning I hate my indecision and I hate putting stuff in nice fresh walls <laughs> so these are the this is where it's going this wall here nice and blank it's so lovely it could just have a nice little gallery of pictures but it's great it's such a nice big space next to the bed uh for just looks like a blank wall just that yeah it is a blank wall for some shelves for books and i do need more book storage uh to get it up it's currently in bags on the floor i've got book storage downstairs we love books dan and i are both big readers Lilia is a big reader. We love having books in the house. So, but putting shelves up, getting them straight, or not getting them straight, but getting them to look straight is a stressful business. So it took me absolutely forever to choose even the types of brackets that I wanted to use. And I'm still not convinced that these are going to be the best type, but we've got to do a lot of drilling of holes. I just, oh God, such a panic. So this is what I went for in the end. They are really heavy uh, they are i guess powder coated steel i got them from amazon in packs of two i've got four packs so that's good because we're going to have four shelves no no i've got three packs so i think we're going to do well we will do three shelves today which was my original plan but we'll have enough if we want to put another shelf up and then my plan is to have books and other bits on there and I want to have some lights hanging down and maybe a fake plant not a real one because it will attract bugs into my room and can't be doing with that um yeah so that's that's the that's the idea and th this will sit uh let me get a book hang on to, to oh no I'll use my pom-pom maker so that will go against the wall and the shelf will sit on it like that so there'll be a very slight gap between the wall and the shelf at the back but, yeah whatever that doesn't matter so that will be kind of how it looks and then later on once we've got the shelves up and they're sanded and they're ready we'll get them into position and so i know that i like it and then i'm going to decide whether i want to paint them the same color as the walls or paint them white or stain them or oil them got to decide that decisions decisions diy is too many decisions the power tools are going Right, so we hit a bit of a problem. They're not sitting at a right angle. They're all right, but they're slightly out. So, but it might be okay once we've got all the screws in. Yes. But we have a plan in case. And that's only on one of the shelves. It's only on the one of the shelves. The bracket's not quite so 90 degrees. We, but we've only done two. We've got it all ready to go up. And then the wall was a bit of a mess. So I've given it some paint. I'll take these out because I can't hear. Um, and Dan's done a bit of polyfillering on some bits. So we're just waiting for things to dry. I'm going to go for a walk and go to the sorting office. I'm probably not going to film much of my walk because even though I only film little snippets, it really slows down my walking pace. So I normally walk at just over four miles an hour. But if I'm filming, it goes down to about 3.6. So I'll film a little bit, but not much. Uh, and then when I get back, <clears throat> we should, you, you will have sanded and then we're going to get a little bit, touch up the paint, have dinner. And while the paint dries yeah. and then get the shelves up and get the brackets up and then attach the shelves to the brackets it's all very boring this is why i hate doing stuff like this mm. it always takes about four times as amount of amount four times the amount of time we think it's going to yes but we'll be very good we'll be very happy that it's done well i will be i quite like the idea of a couple of little shelves in the corner yeah. over by me for books yeah i think that's and i've a got good the idea. i've got the cutoffs lying around yeah. downstairs, well so. there'll be a whole extra shelf yeah and the two little mini be like sleeping look. in a library by the time we've finished we've got that many books it'd be, it'd be amazing <laughs>
Uh, I've had my walk and I walked just over six miles, which was good. I didn't, I was thought I was going for about four miles, but I just kept going. It was really windy, but I'm really glad I got a good long walk in today. Um, very happy. I'm going to get changed now into my pyjama. Well, um, I did change into my pyjama top, uh, which is another one of Lilia's old ones. I'll just put the camera down to show you in case you spotted it yesterday. <laughs> the eagle-eyed amongst you might have spotted. It's another old one of Lilia's that I have... Uh, I have intercepted on its way out the house to wear as pajamas. This is all the name, uh, all the names of um, uh, the K-pop group BTS. I don't know why that was escaping me for a minute there. And actually, that leads me to remember I had such fun today. You would have already seen the vlog yesterday when we went to the cute exhibition. And I really wanted to choose cute music to go over the top, so I chose some K-pop style music, and I really liked it. I had a lot of fun choosing that music, so I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit different to what I usually use. Anyway, I want to show you the shelves. So these are in no way finished, and this is not um, how the books will be on them. I've just put them on there because I was too excited not to. The shelves aren't even screwed down properly yet, and I need to... Uh, treat the shelves and finish them off. This is just them in their raw state. But these are all the books that were in a basket and a big bag on the floor down here. And they are now no longer on the floor down here. They're all up here. It's amazing how much two relatively small shelves can hold. I'm so pleased with them. And they are, it took us ages to get them exactly level and straight and you know we we're still married so there you go <laughs> and all of these books i think bar maybe one are books i have not read so books i have got from charity shops or been given or been sent or have taken um from lilia's as she unhauled hers they're all ones to read so this is kind of like my to be read shelves uh, which is very exciting and slightly daunting. So I can kind of work my way through these. Just uh, all of those stories waiting to be enjoyed. I'm just popping in to finish the vlog. We had dinner, it was very nice. We had salmon and potatoes and veg. But I feel very full up now. Uh, so I've just come up to sit in bed and move all my files about like I like to do, get it up, that all done in advance. And then I'm going to do a face mask. I've got the Body Shop Vitamin E Quench Sheet Mask. And this was one of my advent, birthday advent gifts from Dominique. I love a face mask. So I'm going to cleanse and then do this in a bit whilst watching some YouTube. And I got a couple of bits in the post, so I thought I would open them. So one arrived in the post, and I know exactly what it is. Oh, 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 I'm liking the stickers. So I have ordered my first in the Green Lampkin uh, Yarns Advent. So she, she releases them every month. And so and by the end of the year, I will have 24. So we've got a lovely red festive spotty bag this year, and it's... Um, Enchanted Forest themed, look. Special stickers. Oh, I love it. Ooh, 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 I'm excited. So what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna dig out my festive, or one of my festive project bags that I can start popping these in ready for December. Too early. And the other thing, I don't know what it is because when I went to drop my orders at the sorting office, I checked my PO box and there was something in there, which is unexpected. So I thought I would open it with you. What's that bookmark? Why sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast through the looking glass. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, it's from Julie. Thank you for the fabulous content. 10. That is so lovely. Alice through the Looking Glass bookmark and it is from Wilfred's Words. Oh, that is so lovely. Oh, when I started reading All the Lovers in the Night, 
on the train yesterday I didn't have anything to use as a bookmark so I popped in an old National Trust membership card. <laughs> this will be much better. <laughs> Thank you Julie, that's amazing. I'm so happy with that. This can, this can go. I'm going to have to pick that up in a minute. So, right, that's me. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again tomorrow. It's working day for me tomorrow. So, let's see what that brings. Song of the day. Before I go, song of the day. I've forgotten, I think, for the last four days. This is why I, when I do daily vlogs, I've given up on doing these things because I always forget. I need a song of the day. I keep forgetting to do it. What was that one you were singing to in the exhibition yesterday? I don't know. I just heard it on TikTok once. Lilia? Oh, Lilia, I don't know. I need a song of the day. Mm. One of you needs to come up with a song of the day. I, my mind is a blanket. There is a light that never goes out. <gasps> yeah, there is a light that never goes out by the Smiths. Very good choice. That was Lilia. That was on her birthday party playlist. There you go. That is today's song of the day and I'm sorry that I've forgotten for the last couple of days. See you tomorrow. <laughs>